Oh, All right, okay. fight Mike here. Okay. Have my rock star feeling good next to the Golden Boy. We need a Lopez fight February 28th against Matt Waggy. Tell us what's happening, man. Uh, just doing some wrestling right now. Fighting a wrestler and a judo guy. Are you, are you going to do the dye in your hair like you had in your, in your last fights, man? I, I don't see it happening right now. We're, Tito's not in the house? Well, what's up, dude? <laughs> I'm going to... I do that every fight. I've been doing that since I was like 15, every time I compete. So uh, I'll have it for fight night. For sure. So tell us, man, uh, what do you think uh, is going to happen in this fight? You know, Matt's uh, primarily a wrestler. You got that really good striking. You could do it all, but like primarily, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen. Uh, I know that his game plan is going to be to smother me, put me up against the cage, and drag me down and just make it a grinding, wrestling, jujitsu, grappling type of fight. And uh, me, of course, I'm going to try to keep it on the feet and put, it, put on an exciting show for all the fans, try to get a knockout. I want to get back to my finishing ways. And uh, I'm in the best shape of my life right now, and I still have five weeks to go. So let's see how it goes. Oh, boy. So how much of a reach on this guy do you got? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know what his reach is, but I know mine's uh, 73 and a half, almost 74. So um, normally I always have a significant reach advantage. You down to do the sub mic session in a little bit? Of course, man. We're going to go at it. Hopefully I break that record. I don't know. Juan's pretty tough. Yeah, Juan Katsada, that guy put it down on me. And uh, we got Benito Lopez here. He thinks he's going to be faster. But... Uh, I got my rock star, so I got my sugar in my system right now. So I don't know about this Benito boy, golden boy. He's an MMA golden boy, not the boxing golden boy, like Oscar De La Hoya. So we're gonna see what happens. All right, we got the golden boy right here. As stated, he's gonna do the sub mic session. We're gonna see how fast Benito Lopez can sub this guy. Go. <laughs> So here at Urban Sprawl, what other gyms uh, do you go to I mean, preparation for a fight? Man, are you primarily just here knocking it out with everybody here? Uh, mainly primarily here, but I go train with uh, Brito. Brito's a badass coach. I, I love training with him whenever I can. Randy Lacey down at their, their place to train at and uh, Roundhouse Muay Thai. I've been going there. Baylor Muay Thai now, but I've been working there. But 
I mean, I, I don't need to work on my striking too much for this fight. I think it's more so the wrestling and uh, getting back to my feet and conditioning. If I do all that, then th this fight will be fine. It'll be fun. Did you say burrito or did you say taco? Burrito. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, man. Uh, so, how can people get a hold of you, man? They want to get those tickets. I know this, this fight's a pretty big fight. West Coast fighting February 28th, man. So, if they want to get them tickets, man, how can they get them from you? Uh, you can hit me up on Facebook, Benito Lopez MMA. You can hit me up on Twitter or Instagram, at Savage underscore 530. And uh, that's about it. So real quick, you want to give a shout out to your sponsors, man? Yeah, I want to thank uh, Casey Gordinez in Oroville, my cousin uh, Barbara Flacco, and uh, Ben Hatch, DYKYB, and um, my manager, and my whole fight team right here. I grind with these guys every day. And uh, any sponsor I didn't mention, I appreciate everything you guys do for me. Love you guys. Thank you. All right, y'all. You heard it. It's the Golden Boy right here. Go get your tickets. West Coast Fighting. He's fighting Matt Waggy. February 28th, Sacramento, California. I'm Fight Mike. And we out here for now. I want to thank Benito for not, you know, doing uh, his Bellator thing and uh, waiting for us to fight. I'm gonna, I want blood in that fight, so we'll see. I want it to be a finish, and I'm thinking it's going to be a finish. No matter what, I'm going to come at him and fight. I go here. I told him, yeah, exactly.